Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Quickie here. And by the time this video comes out, it'll probably be October 31st, which means it's Halloween. And I hope you guys are out getting candy and not getting raped by people that are creepy and handing out free candy for for sex on the peanut. I don't know what the fuck I'm going with this. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little story. Thought I'd spent a couple weeks since I've done my last one and my only one. So I thought I'd give you guys one more and see how you guys like it. And tell me if I should keep doing these or if they're plain stupid and I should just fucking give up on this, okay? But anyway, so the, my story takes place when I was about, like, I think I was in the fifth grade, and I was just, it was just an average Halloween night. We were just, you know, bouncing around the fucking town, getting candy, filling my bags, fucking bitches. You know how it is when you're in the fifth grade? Or maybe some of you don't, maybe. I don't know how old you guys are. So we're walking around town, and we got some dope-ass costumes on. I think I was Miley Cyrus for that year. Yeah, I took, just took some of my sister's clothes and bought a, like a $10 wig at fucking Party City. And that was my costume. I looked fucking baller. But people made fun of me anyway because I had long hair. And they're like, you don't even need the wig, man. I'm like, fuck off, man. I ain't gotta hurt my feelings like that. So, me and my friends are... This is when you could like actually trick or treat like late at night. And it was like actually awesome. Like it was like... It seemed scary almost. Like... Maybe not late at night, but it was, like, already dark. Like, nowadays, I feel like you have to do it at, like, 5 while there's no pedophiles out trying to fucking touch my my boy parts, my no-no spaces, you know what I mean? So, me and my friends, we're walking down the street in my 64. Oh, no, okay. We're just walking down the street, and we, all of a sudden, we see this car coming behind us. He, like, he's driving by, like, kind of slow, you know, it's, it's sketchy, but we're in a neighborhood, so it's like, okay, we're not expecting him to go, like, 40 down this road he drives by once no, nothing really thought that much about it you know after he was gone we felt okay about it then this guy i don't know he like made a turn and he came back again and then we were fucking like creeped out we're like damn is this guy like looking at us because he's going pretty damn slow but you know we're not gonna jump to conclusions yet but i mean think about it we're in the fifth grade we're like we're fucking little bitches at this time we, we, we barely even... No, our voice didn't drop yet. We barely even got hair on our nuts. I'm not even sure if I did in the fifth grade. Damn, I was a little boy. I was scared, man. <laughs> so, around comes the third time when he's starting to come back and he's going even slower. Like, super slow. Like, I'm taking pictures of you little boys as I'm driving by slow. And we are just freaking out. At least... Yeah, at least I felt I was. And... I keep walking because I don't want to show this guy that I'm scared. Because I don't want to look like a little bitch. So I keep going. I'm walking, walking, walking. And he, like, fucking is, like, keeping up the pace of, like, me walking. So he's going, like, two miles per hour. You know what I'm saying? And I just, like, all of a sudden I hear my name. They're like, Taylor, Taylor. My two friends. I turn around and they basically are, like, 20 feet behind me already. Just running in the opposite direction. And I'm just like, oh, shit. I'm about to be fucked. So then, I just turn around, 180, fucking no-scope that shit, and I just start hauling ass. And then, as soon as I start hauling ass, this guy fucking speeds up in the opposite direction, finds the nearest driveway, and he's, like, trying to pull a 180, 360 no-scope shit on me. So, me and my friends were just running, 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 and it is, like, fucking pitch dark out here, guys. So, like, he can't see us unless the lights are shined on us. And we are just running our little tusses off. We're trying to get away. And we ended up, like, jumping into a bush. And this fucker drives right past us. It was like something that you see out of a movie. Like, it was like, holy shit, I'm not sure if he really knows that we're in here. But fuck, thank God he drove by. Anyway, after that, we fucking just... Our, my buddy's house was, like, right down the road. And so we just hauled ass to his house. And we'd slam the door shut. And we're like... Oh, oh. And then we fucking looked at all our bitch and candy that we just got that night. So, in the end, we almost got raped. But, I mean, it was totally worth it for all the candy that we just hauled in. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the story, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. You guys have been going insane with the support lately. We're almost, uh... Well, we're not almost, but we're 48 subscribers away from 600, and that's gonna be a... It feels like a bigger milestone than 500 to me. Well, it obviously is a bigger milestone if you know math, or just numbers in general. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to let you ask you guys, what do you want me to do for 600 subscribers? Do you want me to do... It's not a face reveal. Maybe not yet. I don't know. Maybe, if you guys convince me. I think... I'm more thinking about that for the 1,000 subscriber reveal. 
But if you guys want to see a desk setup or maybe another story, maybe a personal story, I don't know. You guys let me know in the description below. Not the description. Don't do that. That's mine. You leave a damn comment in the comment section below, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.